tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. There is tranquility. Is losing all your magic an option? No, I have faith that you will succeed. Know this, apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. 
It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well, Mouse. It's fuzzy, that time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then... The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. That has been said before, but you don't know the danger. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it, if you can. That's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow. If that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. The dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready. To... That is where the test will take place. The creature can be anywhere, but it rests there. Another spirit this way. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. Let you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Of course, you are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Without a doubt, in this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? Our duel begins now. Fight with Valor! Battle! Glorious battle! Metal. 
Come now, defend yourself! Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal. Another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Hmm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you, eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Help you? <laughs> Nothing can help you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean, teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I, I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? We? I have faced more in this place than you can imagine. Fear is just one more thing. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm hmm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, 
And I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. Left inside. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Mm. <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Yes, your witty tongue. Fair enough. One more try, shall we? Often will I spin a tale, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But, alas, you won't remember me. What am I? You are correct. Rather, apropos here in the Fade, no? But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go, then, and... Uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, 
And the Templars killing me. Like they tried with you. I am what the Fade has made me. Am I to blame for that? Deciding to exist or not exist is not a fair choice. I had no hope. You have shown me other possibilities. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. What? What are you... Of course it was! What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Say something, please. It's me, Jowan. Calm down. Just try to relax. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? Is that why they don't tell us what it's about? I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. Really? That's it? That makes sense. They want to see if you can resist a demon and stop yourself from becoming an abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mages' quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here, and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. No, I'm afraid of what will happen to me. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later.